For decades we've spotted, we've wondered, we've laughed, and most of us have dismissed the UFO. One organization though hasn't. Our very own Ministry of Defense. It's no secret that behind these windows the MOD has logged possible UFO sightings. Those logs though have been highly classified until now. These are the real X-Files available for all to see. Thousands of pages, each one a possible UFO sighting and each one deemed serious enough to be investigated. And for that reason alone, say the UFOlogists, they should have been released years ago. I've been battling for around 10 years to persuade them to do so on the, on the grounds that basically they hold this stuff. As long as it's deemed to be secret, people will assume that they've got something to hide. They range from the ridiculous to the convincing. This, complete with picture, the story of a man claiming to have been abducted by an alien spacecraft. And yes, the MOD investigated briefly. But this one was made by an airline pilot, someone trained to recognize other aircraft. He recalls an unidentified object pass close to port side of aircraft. Possibilities considered, asteroid, returning space debris or missile. Officials here at the MOD were perfectly happy to talk when we approached them about the subject. They even had a press release for us. In it though, they made three points. One, that the vast majority of cases have a perfectly rational explanation. Two, that they only ever investigate them to establish whether or not enemy aircraft could be in our airspace. And three, that they have no interest at all in extraterrestrial life. The message from this former defence minister though, forget the conspiracies. I think it would allay a lot of people's fears if they understood uh, just what there was in these files. You know, uh, lots of curiosities, but nothing which suggests that little green men are running round uh, uh, Hampstead Heath or something like this. But one thing appears to be missing, the conclusions. Were all these sightings verified, dismissed, or something else? Perhaps the truth is still out there. Mark Stone, Sky News.